Residents of four Guadalupe Valley lakes breathing sighs of relief today. On the same day, the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority had planned to start draining the lakes over safety concerns. A deal has now been reached to prevent that. Our Garrett Berger has been following the cases live outside the Guadalupe County Courthouse where that decision was announced. All right, Garrett, we know there's a deal. Have the lakes been saved from being drained for good? No, unfortunately not, but they are saved for now. The two sides, the property owners and the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority came to a deal this afternoon that would keep Lakes McQueenie, Placid, Meadow and Gonzalez from being trained and leased pending a trial in October 2020. The finished deal was announced in a courtroom full of people who have spent several anxious months worrying about the futures of their lakes. For at least a little while, though, the lakes will be there, but not accessible. Starting Thursday morning at midnight, the four lakes will be completely closed to everyone. At that time, a panel of experts will be charged with determining unsafe zones and appropriate warnings over a period of up to 60 days. At the end of that, the rest of the lakes will reopen, at least until the trial. So this is not a permanent fix. But the bottom line for residents, says one of the property owner's attorneys, is they have water. Starting on the 16th, they weren't going to have water. And you got to remember, that's what we're here for today is to stop the draining of these lakes. So they're going to have the water. They're not going to be able to, as they say, I don't like this word, recreate for 30 to 60 days, but they're going to have their lakes thereafter. And that's what we're fighting over today. This isn't an end to the lawsuits, though, but the attorneys note there are other efforts going on outside of the suits to, on helping to fund repairs for the dams, and a solution could remove any needs for that trial in 2020. Coming up at 6, hear from some of the residents and property owners on those lakes on their take about today's deal. Live at Seguin, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.